Hi guys and welcome back. For today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my Marcy's house in Texas. She got here a few years back on H-1B visa and I wanted to share with you guys this video like a house tour because I feel like it's just so motivating to see all of these things and it just kind of inspires you even more to you know achieve whatever dreams you have about studying abroad etc. Her house is so beautiful it's such a like a cozy corner and you get like an insider on what kind of lifestyle you would be living if you were to live in the US. Her process of getting an H-1B visa was that she worked in India for a little while for a company and she applied for an H-1B. I don't know in how many tries she got it but she did and then she was sponsored by her company to come here. Another thing about H-1Bs that I would always get confused in was that if a company sponsors you then you don't have to go through a lottery ticket but that is not true at all like you have to go through the lottery system even then even if a company decides to you know sponsor you so that's just dumb luck like that's just gonna be how it is and you're just gonna have to deal with it honestly <laughs> another good news that i'd like to give you guys is that i'm in college right now and i've been attending you know workshops about visas and whatnot so i know that h1b is not the only option there are other visa types that can help you stay in the u.s find a route somehow you know legally obviously i'm gonna make a video about that different types of visas and what they are and without further ado let's see my Masi's house i love it <laughs> So you go to the left and here there's a full blown like closet kind of thing. She has put all of her chappals like this. Very nicely kept. There's just toilet paper and more slippers and like extra stuff here. It's like I'm showing her messy drawer right now. Sorry. <laughs> and then you come ahead to the left. There's kitchen, mento. I have a fridge right here has like magnets and stuff very nice she has a pantry very nice has like all the spices dhania elaichi and all of that <laughs> very nice and here's the laundry room very nice very nice there's a drawer and storage place so the countertop she's kept some stuff there you know stove then right above that there's microwave and right under that there's an oven and then there are a few cabinets on top to the right is her roommate's place so basically she and one more roommate share the space and both of them have a bedroom and a bathroom for themselves and then obviously all of this is commonplace um, the hall and the kitchen is common This is the living room. She has a very nice couch. This this thing is literally so comfortable. She's got a nice little painting. Fireplace and all that. But she told me she never uses it because she's in Texas. <laughs> she has a little mandir right there. And there's like a patio. She told me yesterday that this is called a patio. And this is very nice. Should we go out? How do we open this? Okay, never mind. But this is just the outside view of her community. It's really nice. She had like furniture right here but she gave it away when she moved. This is the drying rack. Now let's see the bedroom. So you enter. You go to the left and this is the washroom. Sink, all of her products and everything. And there's the bathtub. More cabinet space. And then you know, like the toilet. Go ahead, 
This is the wardrobe. They very nicely utilize the space, man. There's this built-in, you know, rack there. One more here. And then another one there. And then you can hang stuff here. I don't think this was built in. Not sure. Maybe it was. That's pretty much the wardrobe. And then this is the actual room. It's all carpeted. Even the hall, the bedroom, everything is carpeted. This is the bed. Very nice. Very comfortable. <laughs> then a huge TV right in front of it. So Netflix and chilling becomes easier. And this is her desk where all the magic happens. She's freaking three computers here. I don't know why. To the right, there's a window. You can see outside from here. And then her bedside. The rent that she pays for this house is 1,400. She shares it with another roommate. Total rent is 2,800 and my Masi's share is 1,400. It's quite typical. You can definitely get something lower from that range, but she has chosen to live in this amazing apartment. Also, if y'all are wondering, I am in my college dorm right now. <laughs> I'm already here and the college dorm tour is gonna be my next video so stay tuned. Not dorm tour, oh, sorry, move in vlog because I moved in a few weeks back. I'm running behind schedule but the move in vlog is gonna be up after this video so make sure you stay tuned for that and yeah that was all the questions that i answered for today's video that is it for today's video if you guys enjoyed like the video subscribe to my channel and thank you guys so much for watching you're the best and i'll see you in the next one okay bye then Good morning.